Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you guys my foundation routine using high-end products. I already have a drugstore one, so I'm going to link that so you guys can check that out. Um, so I always start with my Physician's Formula Hydrating and Balancing Moisturizer. This has an SPF of 15. I already applied that and I usually like to take it with my hands or with a stippling brush. Next I'm going to take my Makeup Forever HD foundation and I always squirt one pump full on my hand, on the back of my hand. And that way it can get warm and it will adhere better to my skin when I apply it. Next thing I'm going to do is take a pencil by number 7. The color is 15 Blonde and it has this awesome spoolie on the other side so you can use it to comb your brows through. So I'm going to take this and fill in my brows. And then I'm going to take the spoolie on the other side and brush through them. Next thing I'm going to do is take a concealer. The concealer that I usually take on my face is MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC30. Um, that's just the one that matches me, but use whatever concealer you use, obviously. And I'm going to take this with a Clean 224 by MAC. And I just swirl it into my skin. And by using a blending brush such as the 224, you'll find that your concealer will really buff into your skin and blend into your foundation. And you won't have like that patchy, thick um, spotty foundation that you usually get with a regular concealer brush. Next thing I'm going to do is take another concealer. I usually take the NC30 concealer on any blemishes on my face, but under my eyes, on my bags, I use Bobbi Brown's Peach Color Corrector, and the reason why I use this is because the peach in it will neutralize and cancel out any purpleness or redness under my eyes, and I just prefer this one. So it looks like that, and I'm going to take it with the same brush, but I take a really small amount of this because it's extra creamy and pigmented, so you really don't need too much. And finally, I'm going to powder over all of that with my Makeup Forever HD powder. And I'm going to take this with the Sephora Pro Airbrush in number 55. And what I like to do is take some and swirl it in my hand and then apply it to my skin starting under my eyes. And then just applying it to the rest of my face. I'm actually going to show you guys the bronzer that I like to use as well. This is my favorite bronzer ever. Um, I stopped using it because I switch off between bronzers. But my favorite bronzer ever is the Smashbox Bronze Lights Suntan Matte Bronzer. I love this. It's not shimmery. It's not orange. It's not muddy looking. Um, and for me, since I'm a little bit on the lighter side, um, I, I really like a bronzer that doesn't make me look orange or dirty. Um, so I'm going to take this and what I like to do is suck in my cheeks like that and then I start applying it to the contour right there and then blend the top of that in little circular motions. So from the ear down to about the outer corner of your eye and then blend the tops in little circular motions just like that and then take some on your temples take some on the back of your ear and the back of the jaw under your jaw if you like to on your chin and then I take the bronzer on one side of my brush and apply it down the side of my nose. That. 
Um, so after I apply my bronzer, I just take a big fluffy brush. This is one by Sonia Kashuk. And then I just buff over everything so everything can blend in. And just buff over your whole face so that everything just blends into the rest of your face and there's no harsh lines. So that's one side with bronzer and the other side without bronzer. You can see how this one sculpts out my face a little more. And lastly, I'm going to show you a bright orange lip. I'm going to first take Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Pencil in the color 17C. And I'm going to line my lips with this. And then lightly fill it in. And next thing I'm going to do is take a new lipstick that I got from Wet n Wild. The number is 970 and the color is Pretty Persimmon. So this is the color. It's a really bright orange and it reminds me of So Show by MAC. So this is So Show by MAC and this is Pretty Persimmon. And they're really, really similar. I'm going to swatch them. So the one on your right is the MAC one, So Show, and the other one is the Wet n Wild one. So I'm going to take this and apply it over my lipstick, my pencil. So this is my finished flawless foundation routine using high-end products with a bonus bright lip. I really hope you guys like this. Um, I bet you guys figured by now why I never wear my hair down in tutorials and it's because I have the biggest, frizziest hair ever. Um, so thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like it if you do. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram, Makeup Artist Lorena, Twitter, Makeup Art Lorena. Definitely follow me on Twitter um, and also like my Facebook page. I'll link everything below. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.